In February 2019, US Congresswoman Ilan Omar pointed out that organized Jewry controls American foreign policy. It's all about the Benjamins, baby, she said, and followed it up with the sim single word APAC when asked what she meant. Uh, this led to absolute outrage. Um, we're about to watch a small fragment of a video of three Jews discussing, among other things, Jewish power. The guy speaking is Larry Clayman. I love this guy. <laughs> he really is incredible. He's, he's, a, he's an honest Jew, uh, a Jew on the side of freedom. I don't agree with uh, everything he says, certainly about the Middle East. Uh, but he's saying essentially what Omar said. Um, and in fact, you don't have to look very far to find this sort of um, admission claim. Uh, organized jury um, on that they speak out of both sides of their mouths on the one hand they claim they're poor persecuted powerless people and on the other hand they're boasting about how they control um, public opinion Congress uh, the media etc you don't have to look very fast for that check out my main website for uh, many examples um, you don't need the protocols of Zion when you've got the real thing. Anyway, here is Larry Clayman. Uh, regrettably. Now, with regard to APAC, you know, Jews learned over time that they weren't liked. They learned that uh, the persecution could only stop if they lined the pockets of politicians. And that's, in fact, what they do. So you have groups like APAC, and you have groups like the Republican Co Jewish Coalition, which calls me all the time asking me for money. Uh, I was a member at one time. Uh, I quit because I don't like the president, Matt Brooks. Um, I don't like lobbyists. Yeah. And I'll give my money to another source. I'll give it to myself to fight for Israel, in effect. But what they're doing historically is that Jews understand. And I remember going to, in, in 19, excuse me, it was in... Uh, the convention before the last one in Tampa, Florida, the Republican convention, uh, there was a event, uh, the, Repu the Republican Jewish coalition. You had all the politicians there, including Nikki Haley, who later became UN ambassador. You had others, the governor of Virginia, who was indicted ultimately, but it, uh, the indictment and the conviction was thrown out ultimately. They were all there bowing down. You had Sheldon Adelson, uh, the owner of the Venetian Empire, who years ago misappropriated the Freedom Watch trademark. I had to sue him over that. Sitting there like a mafia don, and, and all these politicians would get up and say how much they supported Israel because they wanted the money. They wanted the support. Most of them probably could have cared less about Israel. But the, but the American Jewish community learned that our protection was regrettably, and it, and it, it doesn't mean that it's right, but it was to line the pockets of these politicians. And that's true. And, you know, at least it's money. It's not threatening people's lives. And that's the difference between APAC and these terrorist link groups is that we don't threaten anybody's lives, okay? Hmm. We're, just, we're just practicing money talks and nobody walks. And that's out of self-preservation.